Hello guys, and welcome back to the channel, Pokemon Pearl Randomized Nuzlocke. It's your boy Beegers, and we are back for the very next episode of the series. In the last episode, we got here to... I don't remember what city. <laughs> but it's alright, we got here! We got here, and we realized that we're a little, little underleveled. But it's okay, I went ahead and did some grinding, so we're prepared for this episode. And today we're actually going to face off the next gym badge. So if you're excited for this episode, make sure you hit that like button for me. It'll be greatly, greatly appreciated. And if you're brand new, it's your boy Beegers. I'm a little crazy, I'm a little weird, and I'm a little unorthodox. But if you hit that subscribe button, you will be greatly, greatly appreciated. And you will join the Beegers family. So with that being said, let's get a quick family recap and get into this episode a little bit. First off, we have the not-so-little engine that could, Tusk the Dawn fan, with the impish nature, with Sturdy, which doesn't really work that well in this gen, with Takedown, Rock Smash, Rollout, and Slam. Then we have Kirk the Monferno, holding that flame plate, with the hasty nature, with Blaze to power up the fire type moves in a pinch, with Flame Wheel, Psycho Cut, Ember, and Bite. And then we have Dwayne the Rock Clefairy, holding that metronome, cause he keeps the beat, with bold nature, with magic card, I get so excited, I'm so excited. With stop, discharge, sing, and cosmic power. And we also have Mr. Trippy himself, not holding any item at the moment. With the jolly nature, with torrent to power up those water type moves in a pinch. With water gun, mud slap, bind, and mud bomb. Then we have my MVP, Cajun, holding that miracle seed. With the relaxed nature, with overgrow to power up the grass type moves in a pinch. With razor leaf cut, poison powder, and synthesis. And then, the piece to resistance, our starter, Shenron the Rayquaza. Hold up. <laughs> with the hardy nature, with airlock to get rid of any weather conditions, with dragon claw twister, ancient power, and fly. So, I know the movesets look quite a bit different. I did do some grinding up to level 28, and then I went ahead and did teach Dwayne the Rock Clefairy Discharge, just in case. It's, it's a move to be diverse, so we actually have an electric type move on someone. But, we are going to get in here, and in the last episode, we actually fought this trainer. So, to see what levels we need to be at. And, I do remember this gym actually quite a bit, but I don't remember the pattern. I know we have to hit that blue button, that's about as much as I remember. So, I'm gonna come over here to this guy, and we are gonna face everybody in this gym. That is an Execute. Psychic and Grass type. This is not good for Tusk. No, not at all. So we are gonna bring in Kirk to do the dam damage. I caught myself. <laughs> and you put me asleep and use Bullet Seed. Alright, we're already in a stall fest. Okay. Stop hitting me, please. One, two. Stop hitting me, please. Kirk! Yo, wake up, my man! Sometimes you just gotta yell at them, and eventually they wake up. Okay! Hey, <laughs> Kirk, thank you for finally waking up. Um, I think this is the button we need to hit. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We are making some progress. Making making some progress. Steady but steady, we're making some progress. Yes, yes, you can. <laughs> I will say I am a weirder. Just like just like I always say in these videos. I guess I'm just a weird person. But I it, breaking the fourth wall here. I just woke up a little bit ago. <laughs> so, we're going to see how this works out today. <laughs> I just woke up and I'm still quite a bit, you know, sleepy. So, I'm hoping that doesn't come back to haunt us, which I left Tusk out against the Sea King. Hmm. So, I don't know if this was the right idea to record it this time, but we're gonna find out. Discharge the Sea King, get rid of him, and we are rolling through these trainers really quick, and that's exactly what we need. And I, th I, I think I'm doing this right, but 
Actually, this gym reminds me a lot of Misty's gym with a twist. It's practically what it reminds me of. And I forgot to heal. I would prefer to have Tusk out with this one. So I'm going to do exactly that, and I'm going to heal against this Togekiss and Extreme Speed. Okay. You are flying in normal type. Do I have anything? I do. I do have something else for you. Ha ha ha! Shenron, come on out! Aura Sphere. I am glad I switched. <laughs> ancient Power. I forgot all about Togekiss getting ancient. Ancient Power. You do get Ancient Power, but that wasn't the idea. Aura Sphere. I completely forgot that you got Aura Sphere. Oh, look! We got Troll again! What is up with that? Okay. Um, do I have a psychic type move? I do. I have a psychic type move on her. Hi, troll! You're back! Your actual mascot is here! Bye, troll! I said bye bye! I don't like you very much, troll! Don't be so mean. <laughs> Alright. I guess we're gonna face off the next one, too! We're just gonna roll through this one. And I know I'm not very, like... How do I phrase this? I, I, I never really know how to phrase stuff, because I always lose my train of thought when, you know, stuff hits the fan. Caught myself again! But we're gonna... Oh, don't... Oh, no. Water gun. Bye, Dutrio. Bye, bye, bye! Um, I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm just a weird person. We're gonna just go with that and call it a day. So, oh well! Alright, so Nita Ran, the female one, goodbye. Wasn't that hard. And that's, that's, that's an Ente. That's a. That's an Ente. Alright! Um. Mud Bomb? And you roared me out into Kirk. Should I stay in? I'm going to stay in and you psycho cut. Ha ha ha! And down goes the Entei! Kirk is the powerful fire type! Alright, Trippy grew to 29. The team is coming together. Everyone's working hard so far. Okay, so. I think I'm gonna bring Cajun up front. We've actually seen everybody so far. That's awesome! Alright, I'm gonna hit this button and hope for something good. And... I think that was it? I think so. Wow, we are rolling through this gym so far. That's awesome. This is exactly what we need. Nice, nice, smooth episode. That's a Celebi. <laughs> as soon as I go to say nice, smooth episode. No, that's, that's, that's a Celebi. That's a Celebi. All right, and you have Heal Bell, so Poison Powder ain't going to do anything. You have Heal Bell, you probably have Recovery, you probably have like Magic Leaf and like, I don't know, Confusion or something like that. So with that being said, I'm gonna have to bring out the big green button in Shenron because I, I don't want that. And we're gonna fly because I know you can't do anything to that. And we miss. Okay, hit the second one. All right, thank you Shenron. Thank you, thank you. And that is a purple up. Not. I'm gonna bring in Cajun for that one. Not for Shenron. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness! If you didn't watch a few episodes back, Bind is a nasty move. Very nasty move. I'm so glad Cajun can handle that. I don't even know what's coming in, so I'm gonna keep Cajun out. A Badoo. Okay. We can get rid of this Badoo. We're gonna have to use Cut. That does more damage than I thought! Worry Seed. I ain't too worried. I ain't worried about nothing. I ain't worried about nothing. Yes. Yes. We are doing this. We are doing this on this episode. <laughs> Alright. We are here to Crash Your Wake! Now, I had a voice a few days ago for Crash Your Wake, but I don't remember it. <laughs> so, we gonna figure something out real quick as I heal up my mods. Okay, what kind of... I 
don't remember the voice I was going to do for him, though. I think I'm going to do a weird one. Because... I've been watching, uh, Who's Line a lot lately. Like, the runbacks and everything like that. I'm using a bunch of potions, because if we get rid of these, then we don't have to worry about it in battle. Um, but I've been watching a lot of Who's Line lately. And I want to see if I can kind of... Kind of do his uh, do, do one of the voices, but we're gonna find out. Um, I, I I gotta I gotta think of the voice. It's um okay. <sighs> get, get, give me a second. I apologize, guys, but I really want to try this voice. Um, Welcome. I don't get challenged very often. The glory you are now beholding is the Pastoria Gym Leader. That's right, I'm Crasher Awake. My Pokemon were toughened up by stormy white waters. <laughs> They'll take everything you can throw at them and then pull you under. Victory will be ours. Come on, let's get it done. I, I don't think that was the right voice, but when I watch it back, I get to see how it turned, turned out to be. <laughs> and if you guys know anything of Who's Line, leave it in the comment section down below if it turned out anything like his, but we'll find out! Alright, no speed up button, and he brings out a Kabuto at level 27. Okay. This should be able to get rid of you unless you use Endor. So I'm not too worried about this Mon in the slightest. Cajun should be able to get rid of you pretty easy in the next turn or two. Right? Or even then, it's going to do at least half. I mean, all right, Cajun. Cajun putting in some work right now. And Super Potion. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That, that doesn't matter. Cajun got this in the bag. Goodbye, Kabuto. We don't have to worry about that fossil mon anymore. You outdated. All right, Cajun. Good job. All right. We have Mill Tank. Okay. What can we possibly do to a Milk Tank that I know has rollout? We don't have any fighting moves. And if I bring out the rock, I have to make sure I hit Sing in one way, shape, or form. Otherwise, I bring out Trippy and I mud slap the living crap out of you and get your accuracy down. Trippy will be able to handle anything that Miltank brings out. So I'm going to bring in Trippy for this. Miltank's going to be a serious problem, though. If it's anything like Gen 2's games silver and gold all right i'm gonna spam mud slap and hope and there's the rollout okay that does nothing to trippy and i need to get your accuracy down now i need you to not even be able to use rollout cool that's one accuracy you're not missing yet that's not good that move is going to get extremely strong Mud slap you again. Accuracy drop. Accuracy drop. Is the accuracy drop 100% on mud slap? And you missed the rollout. Thank you. I don't have to worry about rollout as much anymore. You got three accuracy drops, right? Yeah. I think the accuracy drop was 100% on mud slap. And I don't want you to keep using rollout, so I'm just gonna spam the crap out of mud slap. Honestly, that's four accuracy drops. We should be good at this point. Shouldn't be too, too worried about rollout now. That's a Zen headbutt! Whoa! Was not expecting you to have that. Okay, um... Bind. Okay, okay, okay. I don't like that. And you do have something. You had a citrus berry. Mm. This mon. Okay. 
I know you're binded right now, but what can I do to deal more damage to you right now? I have Tusk, and Tusk has one fighting move, which is Rock Smash. And now I don't have to worry about rollout because your accuracy is down to bismal. And you're storing energy. I don't want to hit you yet. So what I'm going to do... Everything heals up too much. Um, I'm going to use a Super Potion on Trippy and get his health back up. And Miltank's going to unleash the damage. And that's not going to do anything because we didn't do much damage to you anyways. We're going to Rock Smash you now, and you're going to use Bind again. Bide. Bide. Again, I keep saying Bind. It's Bide. And that does a lot of damage. And your defense dropped. Okay. Um, This Bide is going to be an issue. Alright, I'm going to... Problem is, if I super potion up Tusk... Alright, Beegers, let's do some thinking here. Okay, I'm gonna super potion Tusk. Because either way, this is gonna do a lot of damage, but Tusk has the health for it. The problem I have is now I can't do anything. I can! Never mind! I can put an X attack on you and not have to worry about your bide. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to have these items. And you're gonna unleash the energy, which should not kill. Does half though. Okay, I'm gonna rock smash you again. Oh, why'd you use a super potion already? No! That's not, no, that's not good. The damage is real. Two defense drops. Okay, Miltank's gone. Miltank is gone. I don't have to worry about you anymore. How'd you hit the rollout? How are you hitting these moves anyways? Okay, Rock Smash again should get rid of you. <sighs> Whew. <laughs> Miltank. Miltank is gone, and Miltank is always a pain and a half. All right, Groudon. Okay, you 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 want to just come out and send out a Groudon? That is fine by me. Okay, so I'm gonna do two things. One, I'm gonna bring out the rock. I'm gonna bring out the rock first. Then I'm gonna bring out in Shenron. Because I wanna cancel out the sun. Okay, so Groudon is here. That's a big boy. <laughs> that that is a big boy. That is a very big boy. Alright, the drought intensified the rays. I'm not too worried about it because I can just bring out Shenron and not have to worry about you two too much. And it's the battle of the Gen 3 legendaries! Rayquaza comes out and... It still hurts, but I thought sunlight is strong. What? Hold up! Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up! Time out! Eliminates the effects of weather! What? Do I have to... Is it changed? Do I have to be out first? I need you guys to help me out with that one! <laughs> help me out with that one! Cause... I'm calling time out on that! Leave a comment down below if I did that wrong. <laughs> because my whole plan was to get rid of the sun. That didn't work. But okay, that's that's fine. We can still deal with you. I'm going to Dragon Claw. I know Ancient Power does a lot to me since I'm a flying type, but Dragon Claw should do some really good damage. 
Not even half. That's not good. And now you're probably gonna outspeed me. Alright, Crash Your Wake. I know what you're doing. Alright, that sunlight is very strong, and I'm still worried about a solar beam. Ancient power again. Okay, Shenron is still good. Still good. Still holding strong. Dragon Claw! Get rid of this Groudon! Okay, you're probably gonna heal Groudon here. I'm almost positive you're gonna heal Groudon. Okay, I'm going to heal up Shenron because I can't lose Shenron. What does Moo Moo Milk give me? Moo Moo Milk. Give me that Moo Moo Milk. <laughs> I remember that a few episodes back, I did that too. Moo Moo Milk to Shenron, which will give me up back to full. And you're not going to heal Groudon. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Then I don't have to worry about Groudon anymore. Yes, you're going to outspeed me no matter what. However, I can just go in here, Dragon Claw, and get rid of this Groudon. Whew! Okay, well, talk about your gym battle! A Groudon and a Mill Tank. I was really scared of that Mill Tank, honestly. That rollout was gonna do us in. But this Groudon, I. Bleh. <laughs> okay, well. That is it! We defeated Crasher Wake! I, I gotta remember the voice again because I have to do a specific phrase, but this is PG, so I can't really do the phrase off of Who's Line to be able to get this voice. So give me, give me another second here. It seems the Undertale pulled me under, but I had a great time battling with you. You've earned this. We got our fourth badge, the. Fen badge from Mr. Wake himself. You need the fan badge to you to hit a move the vlog outside of battle. This is a special reward from me in recognition of your team's power. TM55. Please tell me this is a good move because it can go smack dab right on the trip because he's a water type. Thunder Punch! Yes! Yes, 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 I love Thunder Punch. That is awesome. Thunder Punch, where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Wait, Trippy can't learn that? You're kidding me! What is it normally? Water Spout? Oh, that is so upsetting. That is so upsetting. And something is going on with the ROM. It is really, really slow right now. That is not, not very good. So, we are going to, wow. Wow, this thing is going really, really slow. <laughs> I'm gonna have to hit the timeout button. Okay, well. Whoa, what is going on? Why is it so slow? Okay, so, guys, I am going to save the game. And just to make sure we save our progress real quick, like, and I will be right back. And we are back! <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I guess the ROM decided to take a little bit of a whoopsie. But it's okay. We are back. We are better than ever. And family's still alive. We did get our badge. Hold nine yards. Okay, I need to make sure I cut that out. <laughs> okay. So, what I did forget in the very last episode is... There's a route over here that I never got an encounter on. So, we are going to come over here, and I didn't realize that this route actually changed to Route 213. So, we are going to get an encounter on this route, and it's going to be Vespa Queen. Huh. Vespa Queen. You know, that's not 
terrible. That's not terrible in the slightest. I'm gonna use cut. That shouldn't bring you... That shouldn't kill you, no. And you have pursuit. Pursuit, fury swipe. Okay, I uh, should be able to cut you one more time. And power gem. Wow. Your moveset is all over the place. I'm gonna bring in the rock, because the rock has sing, sing. That was a crit. Stop doing that, Vespa Queen. And we miss. Okay. We're gonna use sing again. And put you to sleep. Cool, 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 cool. And then we are gonna try to catch you. We actually got, we got a netball. Netball, go! Vespa Queen, stay in this netball, cause we catching you in a net. One, two, three. We caught the Vespa Queen. Nice! Vespa Queen in that ball, in that netball. All right, let's check out your registration real quick. The Beehive Pokemon, Bug and Flying, went in, when endangered, grubs from its six-cell honeycomb strike back. There is only one in a colony. Wait. Grubs from its six-cell honeycomb strike back. So I'm guessing the, the, the dress of it? Does Combi come out of there too? <laughs> My mind just got blown. Give a nickname to the Vespa Queen. Okay. So, it is a queen. It is a Vespa Queen. It is a bee. So, I am going to call you... Actually, the first thing that popped into my head was another Poketuber, actually. And I know she's a big fan or is a, normally water types. But I consider Joy a queen. I hope you guys do do as well blah, 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 my name of my mouth so i'm gonna name this vespa queen joy joy the vespa queen welcome to the family and let's go check out joy real quick let's head back over to town check out joy real quick and if i'm not mistaken in the last episode we didn't check out jonas either so i need to make sure i check out jonas Oh my goodness, it's doing that again! No, let's not! Let's not and say we did, please! Please and thank you! Alright, I'm gonna heal up my mons, and the episode is almost over, so I'm hoping this doesn't go all haywire. I really hope. But we're gonna, we're, we're gonna make through this very slow process, even with the speed up button. But it's okay. We're gonna check out the last two family members and then we're gonna call it an episode. So we have Jonas that we need to check out real quick. Jonas with the naughty nature with shield dust. Okay. With poison powdered leech life, stun spore, and psi beam. That is definitely some power. All right, let's check out Vespa Queen as well. Mild nature with pressure. Defend Odor, Pursuit, Fury Swipe, and Power Gem. Those are some strong bug type Pokemon, no lie. Alright, well, it looks like we got some strong family members to join the team. So, I'm going to save the game again because I don't want to lose any of this pro uh, the progress or anything like that. And I'm going to give you the guys the question of the day and get it out of the way. And I have it down here at the bottom of my screen because I keep messing up on it which is your favorite pokeball to catch Pokemon what is your favorite we got luxury balls we got great balls we got ultra balls master balls pokeballs uh, timer balls net balls nest balls dive balls dusk balls there's there are so many different ones now it's not even funny and in ultra Sun ultra moon and Gen 7 games, we have Moon Balls, we have Level Balls, we have, uh, there's, there's a few other ones that I can't quite think off the top of my head, because there's so many. Which one is your favorite? Honestly, I think my personal favorite is probably going to be just, just a regular Pokeball, because technically, you can catch any Mon in a Pokeball. I've done it, and I've seen it! 
<laughs> so, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a, just just the OG Pokeball, the regular Pokeball that everyone loves, or at least I do. <laughs> so, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button for me, and if you made it this far and you don't like the video, what are you doing? Hit the dislike button, you don't have to watch me anymore, but at least let me know. It is what it is. And if you want to join the Beagers family, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me because it's greatly, greatly appreciated. And you won't miss out on any of this craziness that is Beagers and the series. And I'm going to give you guys another sign real quick. We do have it going on. Monday at 5, we are going to have our red 721 sleep lock. I want to see all you guys there. I want that chat to be so busy, I can't keep up. I want that like button to burst. I want, I want to go insane. <laughs> I, you know how I am in my videos. I'm the same exact person, I'm the same exact way, and I can't wait to see all you guys. But let me give you my quick little spiel that I always give at the end of my videos.